To start out the day, I fill up a mason jar glass with spring water and squeeze in some key lime. I was fortunate to come across ripe key limes, which appear to be in abundance this winter season. I also do meal prep around this time if I haven't done so the night before. Here I'm soaking some hemp seeds, which I'll use for a salad dressing. And I also have some walnuts, which I'll use for a tuna meal. I also have tomatoes and oyster mushrooms on a warm setting just so I can remove the skin from the tomatoes and the moisture from the mushrooms. Around 8 to 9 a.m. I typically have my first solid meal either being fruit as is or a smoothie. For this smoothie bowl I use 3 4 cup cherries, 3 4 cup mango, one baby banana and a splash of coconut milk. It does help to pulse the ingredients before blending. I use less liquid to get that perfect thick consistency for a smoothie bowl, but it does make it a little more difficult to blend up even with the Vita mix. To have fun, I've been working on my smoothie bowl skills. My technique still needs work, but I'm getting there. Anywhere from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m., I begin to prepare what would be my dinner. Right now, I'm making my hemp salad dressing for a fire salad I plan to make. I made this a while back. I'll tag it within this video. I'll also leave a link to the video in the description box below. That way, you can follow it step by step. Now to properly clean my main ingredients, I should have done so the day before, but you know how that goes. I have some fresh electric burdock root, some romaine lettuce, dandelion greens, habanero pepper, yellow pepper, red pepper, Fresh burdock isn't as bitter as you may think, so don't be shy to add a nice amount. It has earthy tones to it, but a nice little sweetness as well. I can't forget to add my dehydrated oyster mushrooms. Makes it so fire. On a different day, I tried a recipe from a kill anise, which was this tuna tuna recipe. I tried it before and I wanted to try it again now that I'm officially doing the raw lifestyle. I'll leave a link in the description box below to where you can see his full recipe. And it's pretty basic ingredients to keep it raw. I don't always eat like this. There's days where I don't eat anything, and then there's other days where I just stick to my zucchini noodles. This is a glimpse of what I eat in a day while living raw alkaline. I hope you enjoy. Until next time, 2098 Badaye.